Hey, it's Carly. So, um, I have been uh, gone from YouTube scene for a couple of weeks now. Um, we've just had a lot going on. Um, so I kind of wanted to do like a little, I don't know, just update and kind of talking about my goals for the next month or so. And just, um, I don't know, maybe just like talking about it will help um, me feel a little bit more like accountable that I need to do these things because I've told other people that I'm trying to do these things. I don't know. Um, so, um, update, I guess, just a little bit. Um, we've been, let's see, the last video that we did was before, that was like right after Valentine's Day. And um, we, Stephen and I celebrated our um, dating anniversary, which we celebrate pretty big. We celebrate it just about as big as our wedding anniversary. It's just been a thing for us. Um, our whole relationships. Um, Steven started it. He loves to celebrate our dating anniversary, which is pretty sweet and romantic. And so we just, we go out to dinner or we, um, let's see, we went to just kind of spent the afternoon together. Oh, uh, we got tattoos together. Um, and, uh, we, uh, went out to dinner and, um, the tattoo thing wasn't a spur of the moment. We had been talking about it for a long time. We just decided to do it that day. Uh, that was the day after Valentine's Day and we went out to dinner and then um, the following week which was actually our anniversary the day before our anniversary we went to a concert we went to see Pentatonix in concert which was so amazing it was an incredible concert um, they're an acapella group if you don't know who they are you should go look them up on YouTube and watch some of their videos because they are very talented. It's Pentatonix, P-E-N-T-A, now I'm not going to spell it right, Penta and then Tonix, T-O-N-I-X, there we go. Um, so they're really awesome and they put on a really great show. Um, and so that was a lot of fun. So that was our dating anniversary celebration. And then the week before um, so like the week right after Valentine's Day, um, my nephews came to visit and they were here and hanging out and so we did a couple of play dates, but then they were sick and so I was trying to keep Levi not around them so much because I knew that we were going to have to leave town this past weekend for Stephen's grandma's memorial service. Um, and I didn't really want him to be sick while we were traveling. Um, he got sick anyways. Um, he got sick at the beginning of the week and I took him to the doctor and they were like, oh, it's just a common cold. And I was like, mm, I really don't think so. And the person who told us that wasn't his normal doctor. And I almost insisted on seeing his regular doctor and I should have because then we could have caught it earlier. But, um, whatever it is, what it is, we ended up going back in later in the week because he got worse, which I knew he would. I just mom's intuition. Um, and so we saw his regular doctor that time and he's like, yeah, let me just prescribe you some antibiotics. He heard some, uh, you know, junk in his lungs and just, um, not a ton of crazy, but he wasn't breathing that great. Um, and he had had pneumonia in the fall. So he just wanted to be uh, extra careful with it and so he just prescribed us antibiotics um, just so that we could kick it before it even became an issue so um, or more of an issue already was kind of an issue because he had a cough and everything like that and so gave us some antibiotics and we talked to him about that we needed to travel for this memorial and he said just to go ahead and do it because once he was on the antibiotics he would be fine um, but um, we knew it was going to be a rough trip with him being sick he can't stand to be in the car seat and um, we the drive was like uh, it's like a five four and a half or five hour drive but obviously with a young child it ended up making it closer to like six hours um, so that was a really rough drive because he did not nap at all he it took him forever to fall asleep and um, by the time he did fall asleep he coughed and woke himself up within like 15 minutes so he was just distraught and miserable and I felt so horrible for making him travel while he was sick it was it was brutal um, once we got there he got better he was glad to be out of the car and um, and he did pretty well overall like he was he was such a little trooper and um, 
so we were like back and forth between like visiting family and stuff and then we had to take him to the hotel to nap and um, so it was it was a little bit harder harder for me just in the sense that like I had to make sure that like I was paying attention to the time and where we were going and and the and family functions and the things that were happening over the weekend and stuff I had to like really try to cater to Levi needing to nap because I knew he didn't feel well and making sure that I had his antibiotics at certain times but keeping the antibiotics refrigerated so it was um, it was crazy so then um, Sunday was um, Stephen's grandma's memorial service and um, it was also my birthday so it just ended up kind of being a really busy and rough day um, it was cold and rainy it was really stormy on the coast and that's where we were and um, so we couldn't really keep Levi outside for very long and that was the the graveside service obviously outside and so just um, it made for a really challenging day for us and then he had a total meltdown and I don't know if anybody else um, has this issue with their kids and maybe if you do and you're watching this and you have some words of wisdom to share I would love to hear it because um, Levi is a tantrum thrower um, I know that part of it was just simply the fact that he didn't feel well but he was not running a fever he just had a little bit of a cough and I'm sure he was tired and ready to go home so like there's part of me that just felt sympathy for him that he was having a really rough time and then part of me that was just he was like screaming and throwing himself on the floor and banging his head on the floor which to say this he does that when he's not sick so it wasn't just the fact that he was sick and there was something severely wrong with him that I wasn't paying attention to or anything like that like I'm not trying to say that I that I think that he wasn't feeling great because I'm sure that that was part of it but he had been substantially better during that whole day he was happy and laughing and just like running around and all this stuff but then in the afternoon he just decided he was done he was just finished he was ready to go home and I could not get him to stop screaming I had to strap him into the like the the Becco that we have the front like backpack carrier thing and just hold on to him because I was afraid that he was gonna split his head open on the floor because he was slamming his head on the floor so um, that was a bit embarrassing for that to happen in front of Steven's entire family um, so I, I don't know if anybody has anything that um, really helps them with uh, their child in throwing tantrums or anything like that because um, this is this has been something he's he's done before so anyways um, but the drive home was so much better and that's how I know he wasn't horribly sick or something was majorly wrong with him because within an hour or so from the crazy meltdown he was happy and giggly and running around and laughing and um, and just like smiling and and so it's like I know that it wasn't like something devastating going on like health wise for him um, so anyways, um, the drive home actually went substantially better though. Um, we borrowed a portable DVD player from our friends and he watched a movie and then he went to sleep. He did scream for a little while before he went to sleep, but that's pretty normal for kids who don't want to um, be in a car seat. I don't really blame him. It's rough to be in the car for that long. Um, but then he, he fell asleep and once he went to sleep he was golden. We got him home, put him in bed, he went right back to sleep and slept the rest of the night. And then yesterday he slept a bunch and um, he slept like 15 hours last night. He slept, he went back, he went down for a second nap at 3 o'clock and then woke up. We woke him up at 6.45 because we were like, oh my gosh, he's going to wake up at like 3 in the morning and be ready to go. So we got him up and we were going to try to feed him dinner and he just did not want anything to do with it he just cried and cried so we gave him his antibiotics and some Tylenol and put him back in bed and he passed out and he slept until 6 30 this morning so um, so that was wonderful and he woke up today feeling really happy and stuff so that was nice so anyways that's what's been going on uh, with us but anyways um, I'm already running really really long but I guess I already said that this was kind of be, gonna be like a chatty update and stuff but anyways, um, so now that we're home and everything, like goals for the week, or goals for the week, well, yeah, I have goals for the week, not to get sick, um, but that kind of feels like it's happening. 
but goals over the next couple of months. Um, number one, I really want to start working out again. Um, I know that it's really um, important for me mentally, physically. I just feel a lot better um, when I have been working out, have more energy. Um, and Steven is really, really good about working out. He works out pretty much every day without fail. Unless he's sick or something else crazy happens or he has to work a ton of overtime that day, he works out like every day. <clears throat> so that really inspires me to try harder. Um, so I would really like to start working out more. Um, I don't go to a gym because um, I hate to be around people when I work out. I feel really awkward and uncomfortable. So I have DVDs here at home that I uh, can work out with and I can either get up before he gets up, before Levi gets up and work out, or I can do it while he's napping. So I kind of have no excuse because I have plenty of time during the day where I can work out. Um, I know just simply for me, I feel a lot better when I'm working out, but also um, in preparation for the fact that um, Stephen and I are discussing trying for baby number two um, here in the next couple of months. Um, we're thinking like maybe April we'll start trying. Um, and that'll put Levi at about like a two and a half, which we think is like a really nice um, age gap. So we'll see how that goes. But um, we're, um, and I would really like to be in better shape before I do get pregnant because I know that when I was pregnant with Levi, the more I actually like exercise regularly, I mean light exercise and stuff like pregnant, like doctor approved pregnancy, like exercising and walking and just being more active. The more I did that, the better I felt. So I'd really like to give myself a little bit of a, jump start before um, I do get pregnant. Um, I know that that will be really good for me. Um, and then um, <clears throat> I, uh, I really want to get um, our apartment um, more clean and organized. It was on a kick for like a month and a half where I did a ton of cleaning and a ton of organizing and I, um, I just I went nuts and I purged and I donated a bunch of stuff and I cleaned and reorganized and I just made everything really tidy and then the second half of February just got so busy with people visiting and um, us going and then Levi being sick for like a whole week before we left it just really threw things off for us and so um, we just kind of started dumping things again and um, Stephen and I are both um, we tended to be a little bit cluttered. He personally is a more cleanly person than I am, but when we get busy, we both tend to just dump things. And so I could show you my bedroom right now, um, which I guess here, I'll just, I mean, I don't know if you can see, but there's a ton of stuff on the desk and stuff on the floor, and that continues all the way around the room, that there's just random things all over the floors and, um, uh, the living room is actually in pretty good shape still. The kitchen is in decent, decent shape because I did, that was my latest cleaning area, but our bedroom and Levi's bedroom and the bathroom are in rough shape. So I really would like to, um, take some time and get those cleaned. So, um, I'm thinking about maybe doing some organizational videos and, um, just kind of like showing you guys the progression of how bad it looks to hopefully how good it will look when it's done and all of that. So if that's something that um, anybody's interested in seeing, I will probably have those up um, in the next hopefully week or two. Um, so yeah, those are those are really my main things. I really want to, um, we're looking at um, hopefully, hopefully getting a house this year. Um, it's probably really just going to depend on timing if we can find anything on the market that works for us. Um, but if not, and we have a, another baby and we're in this apartment for a little while longer, then I really want for things to be um, in a better shape, more organized because we live in a pretty small place. So um, I know that it's doable. I know that there are so many people who live in really small spaces and make it work. Um, I just really want to be a little bit more responsible with the space that we have because I know my tendency is I need to get into a habit of it. So the sooner I start, the better. Um, so yeah, I think that those are, that's really it. Of course, now I'm at like 15 minutes and you guys are probably like, oh my gosh, she's been rambling forever. So, um, I'm going to go now, but, um, 
yeah, if anybody has any tips about like the tantruming thing or if anybody has any like tips or tricks about getting organized or motivation for working out, what you do, um, anything like that, I would absolutely love to hear um, anything like that. If you have organizational videos or um, videos on discipline for toddlers or anything, um, I would love to hear it. I would love to hear from you and your experiences. And um, yeah, so thank you for watching. Bye.